Hi everyone. There's a great question asked in the Young's Double Slit homework that uh, says this. How is the interference pattern produced by monochromatic red light of lambda 4, 650 nanometers different from the pattern produced by monochromatic blue light of wavelength 470 nanometers when all other factors are kept constant? And so this isn't a number answer. It's something we just have to compare. And so one of the ways we can do that is we remember that um, the pattern that's produced has a bright fringe in the middle, followed by a dark fringe, followed by a bright fringe. So this is the middle there. And then as we go out further and further, um, the fringes get less and less dark and bright. They're, they're, the difference is less of a contrast. However, uh, they are all equal distance apart. So what I'm going to do here is, just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to say let's find the distance to the first fringe. And so that, in that case, this is the end value of 1. So hopefully remember from our last lesson that the equation for from the middle center bright fringe out to the next bright fringe or any of the other bright fringes is n times the wavelength is equal to the distance between the slits times sine of the angle that the light is going to um, bend. And so for the simplicity's sake here, we're saying n equals 1. So what we're doing is we're just saying this is true. And then if we go, go ahead and rearrange that for the angle, we get lambda divided by d, and then we get sine theta. So we take sine inverse of that fraction, and that's the angle to the first fringe. So the angle um, from here to here. So that, that's the end. So now we're going to take this separation distance between the slits as 650 nanometers. So I'm going to take that to be equal to the wavelength of the monochromatic red light. So if that's the case, in the red light case, what I'm going to be left with is sine inverse of 650 nanometers over 650 nanometers. I'm just picking 650 nanometers for simplicity's sake. We could have picked any number, but we're just, we're not trying to figure out what the exact angle is. We're trying to figure out how the angles are different. And so in this case, sine inverse of 1 is 90 degrees. So we get uh, an angle of 90 degrees if, in fact, the distance between the, separate, uh, between the slits was equal to the wavelength. Um, in the case of the blue, we would get sine inverse. Uh, the wavelength would be 470 nanometers. And if you divide that by 650 nanometers, you get uh, a wavelength, or sorry, not a wavelength, an angle of 46 degrees. And so what you can see is that red will bend a lot more than blue. And so that's the key. Red will bend a lot more than blue. And that's really the takeaway from this question. So hopefully that's helpful. And uh, if you want to discuss this further, by all means, ask for some help and, and send out an email.